And welcome back to the show. It's really great to be here with you today, and I'm super excited to have with me Kate McKay, the author of Living Sexy Fit at Any Age. Yep. Kate, it's great to have you with us. It's great to be here. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Now, listen, let's get right into it. Uh, we've been working together for some time. I was first introduced to you about a year ago, and you came to me with this idea for a book. But unlike most authors that come forward and have this idea of a book, the entire platform was already there. So what really, what was the antithesis? Why did you want to write a book? Well, I really felt that um, just being a speaker and a coach and running a really successful multi-million dollar business, people always asked me how I looked the way that I do, even though I'm a coach, as I said, and um, had a business. And so what I decided to do was to create the book so that I would actually have the strategy or the actually the system that I have to be fit. So that seems to be always where people wanted to, um, to inquire. And so that's what I gave them. So that's why I created the book. So I've been fascinated as we've gotten to know each other a bit, because what I'm understanding is that you're just not a fitness competitor. There's a whole bunch of background to you. You've been a successful entrepreneur. You yep. owned a gold company where you made millions and millions of dollars. You've been coaching high-level clients for a number of years. Right. And in the middle of it, multiple awards and titles for fitness and bodybuilding. So how does successful coach and, and entrepreneur fit together with with this? Right, I know that's a great question. Well, basically it's just one more thing. It helps me focus. So I compete in Bikini and Fitness America. And so my goal is to inspire other women and men to live their greatest. And so that's the cool thing really about sexy. It's redefining what sexy is for you and what it means to be powerful, to be vital, and to really celebrate who you are uniquely, because we're all uniquely totally cool. And so we have to figure that out and define that for ourselves and then live it. So it fits in actually with my platform, even though it really seems kind of strange. People think it's funny. And I've yeah. also gotten to realize from talking to you that sexy isn't just your physical appearance. It's a much right. deeper subject matter for you. And so people might get the wrong idea when they see this absolutely gorgeous woman on a cover of a book called Living Sexy Fit. But what does sexy actually mean? What's the whole picture? Well, if you look up sexy in the dictionary, actually, and I'm a dictionary freak, it is really being about being vital and being celebratory and feeling passionate, feeling passionate about whatever you do in life. So for me, it's about embracing who you are. And particularly for women, they have confidence issues. So women see me and they're like, why are you so confident? Well, it hasn't always been the case. I struggled with self-doubt and self-loathing for many, many years. And so I understand the process and I understand what it means to go through those struggles. And that's my commitment basically every single day I wake up is to ensure that I'm meeting and greeting and transforming lives. And, and I do it with this cover actually is supposed to be kind of funny because if you really knew me, you would say, really, Katie? My mother said, oh, everything's fine except the shoes, but at least you look <laughs> your age. So there is, um, life is about celebration. So the book is self-effacing at some level because I really honestly don't take myself that seriously. So. And so there is a, there's an emphasis in the book from what I've read on fitness, on diet and on eating, but there's right. a much deeper story here. And I think you just touched on it. From your own early experiences, I right. heard self-confidence issues and self-doubt issues. Right. Why don't you take us back? Tell us a little bit about the early days of your life and where did you first decide that you were going to be so fit your whole life? Tell us the story. Well, I'm actually, I, uh, Apple didn't fall very far from the tree. My dad is 89 and he does uh, yoga, yoga three times a week. But really what happened was I was a, um, a classic ADHDer and I'm um, from a very large family. I'm one of nine kids. So what I discovered early on is the best way to manage all my energy was to charm and be positive and sort of skirt away around and get my way and function. So we all have ways and methodologies that we choose to, um, to choose to operate in our lives. And those choices became less accurate actually, they weren't as appropriate as I got older. So it required that I did some self-work, really realizing what are we bobbing and weaving, what are we running from, really right. to face the truth on who we are. Right. And so much of the Living Sexy Fit book and also the Living Sexy Rich book, which is coming out soon, is also about really embracing that positive self-worth. Whether we're talking about your financial uh, picture, whether we're talking about living in a healthy body, whether we're talking about really creating healthy relationships, 
which is a challenge for a lot of people, and also our spiritual side, and really how do we embrace that and really have a deep sense of peace and knowing and who we are and who we're here to be. It's my belief we're all here for divine assignment, mm -hmm. and um, and it's our obligation to live it. And that's really truthfully, that's the stuff that gives me goosebumps. Wow. So, yeah. Um, I've told this, conver or said this several times, and we had this conversation earlier, um, but it's important for us to talk about this now. Every book I've ever read, mm -hmm. and most books that are read, uh, the books of the ages are always remembered for one thing. It's, it's, it's fascinating because there's so much amazing information in your book, but at the end of the day, it's going to be remembered for one single thing. Mm -hmm. What's that going to be? That I would say that you're worthy. It's really super important that you can look in the mirror and realize that you're worthy of of all of it, of everything you want. It's for you to define. No one else is going to define it for you. And if you do, oftentimes that leads to trouble, as many of us know. So step up for yourself, be confident with who you are, and surround yourself with people that are going to lift you up and not break you down. That gives me goosebumps because that was my, not my life until I made conscious decisions to really make the choices to be my best self. And that required some work, And um, but it's been a blast. So, so the next blast. question... Oh, I'm no. going to tell you. I'm going to tell you the answer you can't say. Okay. You are not allowed to answer this question with the term. I don't know. It's for everybody. <laughs> right. Okay. It's the, not, I'm not for everybody. Is, who's the book for? <laughs> people who are ready to face the truth, because a lot of people um, are hiding from that, and so if people are ready to elicit elicit change and to live an amazing life. They will find me and I will find them. I will find you. I used to be a trainer. I will find you. So, um, so that's the deal. I mean, it's people who are really ready for transformation. In my gold business that I had, my sweet spot was really women from 35 to 60 who were ready for transformation, who they trusted in me. And so I think that's a sweet spot for me. But, um, but I, I'm, I have a quite a bit of male followers because I'm an athlete. So they appreciate my active um, lifestyle and my directness, my right. loving directness, I like to say. Tell everybody a little bit about finding the idea to buy gold, turning it into an empowering business with thousands of people buying products, selling products to you and empowering hundreds of women. What was the business all about? So um, probably many of the listeners here are familiar with gold parties. So basically, it's like a reverse Tupperware party. So I would buy scrap metal at um, women's homes, home parties, and we'd cut them a check. And the most amazing thing about it is the first three months that I was doing it, I just worked under the auspices of another company, but I made $100,000. And it wasn't about the money, even though the money was cool. The most amazing thing was being in partnership with other women and hearing their story that's in their jewelry and then seeing their expressions on their face when you're handing them a check. Because the bottom line is historically women have not been treated fairly in the jewelry business. It's just the way that it is. Right. So that was amazing. And the most um, other piece that was really amazing is I was able to fund other women to run gold businesses. So that was really cool. So I was a bank and I was also a coach. Wow. So the way this worked is kind of funny. So I coached them and I listened to what their truth was. Like what was their biggest challenge? What was their biggest fear? And what was really exciting to them? Some people it was to save their home. Mm -hmm. Some people they really wanted to send their school to um, their children to private school. Other of them was they wanted to save their marriage, like money issues were, were that, or, or they wanted a, a different identity. So what I did was I would listen and I'd say, okay, great. I trust you. I hear you. Here's my checkbook. Don't take advantage of me hmm. and, uh, and go at it. And I, and I never forget their dream. So I'd always say, how are you doing? I would remember their story. So they were addicted. It was an addicting business. It was really amazing. It was, I, I mean, I'll, you know, so that's where my really my prosperity message came out, which is uniquely define it, live into it, and there is more than enough. We're really excited to have Kate McKay here with us on the show. Any final thoughts that you want to share with the audience before we sign off? Well, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for You're letting welcome. me be on the show. I've appreciated it very much. And certainly if people want to reach out to me, it's katemckay.com, kate-mckay.com. And no, I just, I'm, I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts and your responses in particular to the book. And uh, I'm here to help you and support you in any ways that I can. And uh, go and live your best life and, and go at it and have fun and celebrate. Thanks a lot, Kate. Yay, thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Living Sexy Fit is an amazing book. There's a lot of information in there about living a physically better life, but regardless of what you're looking for, this book will give you answers that are going to push you forward in life. It's been a great pleasure to have Kate on the show today. Make Thank sure you, you check back with us in the future. And as Kate said, if you're looking for more information about Kate or the book, check out kate-mckay.com.